Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a Reddit video, but uh, we're back and to, we're back to show some love to my Reddit community. Reddit is a forum-like website where you can submit posts and upvote, and upvote is what they call it, upgoat sometimes if it's like a, you know, it's a little meme um, that I've seen on the, on the, you know, message boards. And, and I have a subreddit. It's reddit.com slash r slash Cody Co. And we're at 106,000 Jodesters, which is actually pretty nuts. Really, it really is nuts. I mean, look at this, Playboy Cardi's at 196,000 members. Can we pass, can we pass that? Well, it, it remains to be seen. I hope so. Hey, what's up guys? It's me in different clothes all of a sudden to tell you that I smell great currently. And that's thanks to the sponsor of this video, which is Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. You can use a new designer fragrance to try every single month for just 16 bucks. And every month you get to choose what scent you want so there's no surprises and they have colognes, perfumes, and unisex options as well. You can skip any month without penalties or you can even upgrade your service to receive two or three cents a month. A lot of full bottles of perfume are super expensive. You know, they're like a range from 150 to, you know, 500 bucks. Imagine paying that and then not liking the scent like a week later. With Scentbird, you'll get a 30-day supply uh, for just 16 bucks. So you can try out different scents every month until you want to actually commit to buying a full bottle. I'm talking Prada, Gucci, Versace, they got it all. You can discover brand new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on their website. I got five scents here already. Look at these beautiful little bottles that they come in and then you just, uh, uh. Oh, I think that was Abercrombie Fierce. Perfect. They also come with these little cards that like tells you, this is a Burberry scent that I got. It tells you like about the actual Tonka bean, cedar, leather, juniper, cardamom. Who doesn't want to smell like leather, baby? I also got Clinique, Happy for Men, and I got Commodity Rain. These are, these are premium scents. Anyways, if you want to try it, click the link below in the description and use my code CODY30 for 30% off so that it's just 11 bucks for your first month. Since we haven't been back here for a long time, I'm gonna just sort top by month and see what the F is going on. In 2016, Cody was vlogging with a with the 2021 version of himself. Sick! General Ill kids. Ill kids. Ill kids. It's pretty funny, actually. That's my buddy Gideon. Shout out Gideon. I always thought, like, I would, I would look at his hair and I'd be like, I'll never have hair like that. I'll never, I've, I'll never ever have hair that long. I respect that he did it, grew it out that long. He was always like the long-haired guy to me, and now I have hair that long. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. Shout out Gideon. Last video was just depressing to watch. What? I don't understand this. Haha, <laughs> she has flashed someone before. That's weird. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm stupid. I don't really understand what this meme is. I don't understand. I don't understand this fucking meme. Am I this stupid? What's going on? Got a little pit hair for you. Uh-oh. Little pit hair on a Friday. It's Friday for me. I don't know what day it is for you. Wow, that's I don't understand this at all. But here's some background on the on the uh, Moment of Truth episode. So apparently Frank knew. They discussed it all before the show, but wanted to split the money before they got a divorce, I guess. And Lauren wanted to get famous. Frank Clary said he had been aware of his wife's cheating, but not prepared for the emotional drain of their going public with it for the money. And then on top of all of that, she fucked it up and she lost the money for both of them. So they were humiliated on live TV and they didn't even walk away with any money. They walked away empty handed. That is horrifying, horrific. If, you're not, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the Moment of Truth video that I did with Kelsey where we watched that. She made it onto trending, baby, woo! Kelsey's been on trending like twice in the last month. So that's awesome, good for her. If you're not subscribed to her channel, she's been vlogging every single week. She's killing it. She's been working really hard at YouTube, so go follow her channel uh, if you wanna see some vlogs of just uh, our house. Basically us just eating food. That's all we really do. We eat food and we open up packages, Amazon packages, that's all we do. So if, you want, if that sounds exciting to you, Go watch, no, we do other things too. We do other things. Go sub to her channel. Let's get her more subs than Cody just for the lols. Yeah, let's do that, just for the lols. Date of birth a very long time ago. Aha! Fuck this chair. This fucking chair is broken. It's a new chair and it's just a little bit broken. So over the course of 20 minutes, it'll just lower slowly. And then I'm all of a sudden I'm like this. All of a sudden I'm at the desk. And I'm like, what the fuck, did I shrink? What's going on? And then I gotta keep going, like on Zoom calls with people. Sorry, hold on one second. 
What were you saying? So do we all collectively not know what Cody's eye color is? Are they not brown? No, they're not brown. They're not stupid brown. My my eyes are hazel. It's a nice brownish greenish. Sometimes, depends on the day, you know? Cody Co fans, when they find out there's not gonna be another That's Cringe. No, 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 you guys don't understand. It's not that there's not gonna be another one. We're just, it's not gonna be on my channel. We're planning a bunch of shit for the TMG channel. We have some incredible plans that we're actively working on and hiring people to do. So you'll see, it's coming back, but in a different form. It's nice to see Grandpa getting some exercise in. Yeah, I, um, I ran a half marathon a couple weeks ago and uh, I actually got in like decent shape, like cardio shape. I mean, you can tell here, I mean, I've still got some, you know, I'm not jacked by any means, you know, still got a little, little layer of padding to get rid of, but um, I got in good like cardio shape before the race. I did the race, it was like my fastest run I've done in a long time. And then I just, I haven't worked out since. I've worked out like three times since. And so I just, I went surfing yesterday I surfed for an hour and a half. It felt like it was five hours of surfing. This morning, I felt like I got hit by a bus. I couldn't breathe. I'm like, I lose it all. If you don't just keep doing it, that's the thing about working out. It's like, you gotta just do it every day. Because if you don't, and you're my age, it's like you just fucking lose it all in two days. It just goes away. I was in pretty good shape here, and all of a sudden, like I did a marathon, a half marathon in like a, a hour 52 or something like that, or maybe less, hour 49 or something like that. It was a pretty good time. And now I'm... I mean, I can't, couldn't even, can barely walk to the fridge to get a beer. <laughs> ah! Cody's dad is a Canadian cyclist. Am I the only person who didn't know this? He's not only a cyclist, he's just a overall beast. If you don't know this, my dad had multiple world records at one point for traveling the furthest distance in 24 hours via just human power. Engineered like a recumbent bicycle, which is like a lay down bike. And he pedaled it around a course for 24 straight hours to break that world record. And then he did it on a pedal boat on a lake. So, some info for you if you wanna know that. And now him and my mom do like ultra marathons all the time and this is what I mean. I, I'm trying to like follow in these footsteps a little a little bit and I'm having a hard time. Just lift up the chair a little bit and it goes down immediately. Just stay up! Nobody that knows that they're that thing says they're that thing. They just are it. <laughs> Damn, you really did that. You really made that your yearbook quote. Cody Coast 642, is that like a Bible verse or something? <laughs> I like that you actually did that. I'm impressed, honestly. And another one, my time here was frictionless. Wow, shout out to all of you. That's not funny. That's not a funny meme. I hate that. Peep the Costco socks though. I will forever rock the Puma Costco socks. I don't know how to wear socks cool. No idea, I have n zero sock game. The different color socks to match an outfit, it's just like, wasted space in a drawer, you know? And I just don't know how to do it. I have no sock game at all, but I'm, I wanna have better sock game. Rate Cody Co's dating profile. Your boy clean up nice. <laughs> okay, you got me, you got me, that's really good. Your boy clean up nice. Fucking bucket hat, did you? your boy clean up nice. This is how I pull up to formal events right here. Whoa, that's crazy as fuck, oh my God. Holy hell, that's really good, I really like this. So my neck is pretty skinny, but I like it other than that. Fuck this picture. I, I have a neck though, at least. At least I have some sort of definition here. My face ends, you know, it doesn't just go into my shirt. Yeah, exactly, Cody doesn't deserve this. Y'all are wrong for this, you are wrong for this, and I hate it! I'm just gonna leave this here, yep, that's a picture of me. That's actually at the time when my dad broke the record, the first time. That was me. Siblings are dating. This is this is crazy, man. Meeting him, he's like one of my comedy idols, truly. So cool to have him on the podcast, really. Like it was like just a just so surreal. Like, and he's the nicest guy ever. Like, was so accommodating and was down for whatever bits that we wanted to do. We brainstormed for like half an hour before and he was just down for anything. And he's so funny. The whole time we're just like trying to keep up with his improv just to feed him more material so that he could just go off. It was it was really like a dream come true, truly. This is this is when doing this shit becomes so cool. When we were live touring, like, you know, and we'd come on stage in front of like 2,000 people or something like that. That's not a flex, it's just that was like moments like that where you, you really feel and you can see the outcome of all the work we do online. That's truly amazing. And we're sitting in the same room with this guy, we're like, wow, we really, 
I mean, this is for how far we've come from where we started. This is incredible, and and it was an honor doing that episode with him. Truly. Did I have a fever dream? Cody had a bearded dragon named Razor, right? Yes, I did. I did have it, and uh, I haven't actually said this. I don't think on my channels at all, but uh, I actually I had to give him away. I mean, I didn't have to. I could have kept him for sure, but it was it was way too much work. I didn't choose to have this lizard, right? It was given to me as a gift. And so I did my absolute best to care for this thing and show it love for like the month or two that I had it. And I paid a lot of money to get him a big, nice custom tank and all this stuff. And then I just realized I don't really like lizards that much. And so taking care of them became this like awful chore. And it was ridiculous how much shit you had to do. Like feed them live crickets, like three or four times a day or whatever. And you can't Postmates them, you can't, you gotta go to Petco, which in LA is a fucking pain in the ass. Going anywhere here is a pain in the ass. And you have to buy live crickets three times a week. And the lady at Petco was like, you don't have to come here all the time if you don't want. You can just breed crickets at home. And I was like, what? So you can just have a giant bin with crickets inside. You put a male and a female in there and they'll breed and just have, you know, a thousand crickets. And I was already finding crickets around my house. That grosses me the fuck out. I'm like, I don't want to breed crickets. What am I, a fucking farm? I don't want to do that. So I love this lizard. I called a lizard rescue that I found, and uh, the guy was amazing. He came. This is what he does. He saves lizards from people who don't want them. And uh, he sent. He took him to his place, and he sent me a picture of it in his new tank, all happy. And he's been sending me updates ever since. So I mean, I think he's in a good home. Hopefully, I did my best, but unfortunately, it wasn't worth it for me. Didn't didn't he didn't fit into my life, unfortunately. And I don't know if that's selfish or not, but I didn't fucking want the thing to begin with. So that's the story of Razor. I miss you, Raze. You know, all the best. I don't, I, hopefully you're still alive. I'm just gonna do this anyways to bless you. And uh, that's the update with, with Razor. So I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Uh, you know, this is kind of fucking, fucking sure. You know, these are more of like a podcasty thing, I guess that I do. And so I hope that you like hearing, you know, more uh, background stuff of how I actually feel about things. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Bye.